Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Pro Tour Phyrexia All Be One is this weekend in Philadelphia. And if you're not in Philadelphia, you can watch all the action on the Magic the Gathering Twitch channel on Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday. On Friday and Saturday, the coverage begins at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and on Sunday, it starts at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Just like other Pro Tours, the format consists of three rounds of Phyrexia All Be One Draft, followed by a constructed format for Pro Tour Philadelphia. It is Pioneer Constructed. Almost 250 competitors qualified for the Magic the Gathering Pro Tour from a lot of different avenues that you can qualify through too, including the Regional Championship, Past Premier Event Performance, MTG Arena, Magic Online Premier Play, uh, Magic the Gathering Hall of Famers, are all playing for a total prize payout of a half a million dollars. After the 16 rounds of Swiss, those with 27 or more match points will be invited to the next Pro Tour. So that means if you have nine wins or more, you'll be invited to the next Pro Tour. That being said, the minimum prize payout for the competitors is $1,000. If you place in 140th or lower, you get $1,000. 80th to 139, 1,500. 25th to 79, 2,000. 17th to 24, 3,000. 9th to 16th, 5,000. 5 through 8th, 10,000. 3 to 4 is 15,000. Second place gets 30,000. And first place gets $50,000. Now, contrary to how most people play Magic the Gathering draft nowadays, which is probably the arena best of one leagues, at the Pro Tour, they play in draft pods, where they put eight people together to draft, just like a normal draft, but then you only play within your pod. Uh, so even if you lose the first round or win the first round, you play against other people in the pod that won or lost the first round. And it's a little bit different than the Magic Online uh, ranked leagues. Uh, it is best of three just like constructed at the Pro Tour. Now, as far as archetypes that these competitors might be trying to draft, red-green aggro has sort of been viewed as the best deck, as well as other white-black, white-red aggressive variants. But frankly, you can play any combination of colors if it is the right colors for your seat at the table. Because players have to submit their deck lists ahead of time, and it's open deck lists again, uh, people have been posting what they're playing at the Pro Tour on Twitter, which is really incredible, and... A Pro Tour meta breakdown has already come out for the Pioneer rounds. The most popular decks, uh, not surprisingly, by a pretty wide margin, are Rakdos Midrange and Monogreen Devotion, with 33 and 30 decks respectively, followed by Gruel Vehicles, Lotus Field Combo, Mono White Humans, Azorius Control, Is It Creativity, Rakdos Sacrifice, Is It Phoenix, and Selesnya Angels. Um, this is pretty reflective of the Magic Online metagame and the metagames we've done on this channel examining that Magic Online metagame. So no surprises here. However, these are the best players in the world working together with one another in an attempt to win $50,000. So you better believe that there's going to be some sweet tech in these decks. They also released the most played cards from Phyrexia All Be One. The top three are lands, Black Cleave, Cliffs, Carpaline, Gorge, Razor Verge, Thicket, followed by Skrelv, Defector Might, which makes sense because like they pretty mother of runes, essentially, that has other upside. The most played sideboard card in Phyrexia All Be One in this tournament is Thrun Breaker of Silence. It was played 15 copies throughout these decks. I'm very excited to watch the Pro Tour. I hope you are too. I'll see you in the Twitch chat. If you like videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social medias. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.